Hey everybody, wanted to share some great news about Amazon Flex, Amazon Fresh orders. I took one of those the other day and it paid really well, especially since it's still slow out. So this order, it was a total of seven stops, 37 packages, base pay was $54, and then they had a tip estimate. Well, wouldn't you know that I ended up getting $39 in tips? So 54 plus 39, that's $93, and that's fantastic, especially for the work that I did. It only took two hours to do, and I drove a max of maybe 40 miles. So these kind of orders are really great. There's one catch, though. They're hard to catch. So maybe it's because I haven't been doing Amazon Flex um, as a scheduled service. I just do it when I'm available. And so far, I haven't done a package delivery with them. All I've done is the grocery orders, and that's either through Whole Foods or Amazon Fresh. So that is one downside. When you get the order, they're great, but I don't get them that often. So whenever I do, I take advantage. So that's something to keep in mind for yourself as well. In this case, all these orders went really smoothly. Now, normally, my car, as you can see behind me, with 37 bags or things it would be packed full and in this case i'm glad i only had the one case of water sometimes i've had four or five and some other heavy items and believe me that is not fun when you have to deliver to apartments or places where you can't really get and so i use my wagon most of these were residential addresses and a couple were apartments but overall the bags were relatively small they weren't even packed full so this was such a great order and I'm so happy that I got to do it because $93 for two hours of work driving 40 miles is great. I did forget I wanted to mention if you want to watch a ride along of me doing Amazon Fresh, I've made a couple videos on that and you can see it in the playlist for Amazon Flex. So do check those out and those will give you more information on what it's actually like to do the deliveries because I show it a lot more in depth instead of this highlight right now. Do you know that I only have a few friends and one of them is called multi-app? <laughs> ha ha, I get it. Yeah, multi-apping really helps me a lot because it's how I make money. Now I have started to think recently, what if, not that I'm wrong, but what if there's a different way of doing that? And so what I'm gonna do on Uber Eats and Grubhub is I'm gonna accept every order unless it's ridiculous near the end of the day when I couldn't get home in time and I'm gonna get my acceptance rate up to 100%. And then I'm gonna see what kind of orders they give me. So you can look forward to an update on that in a month or two when I've gathered enough data to be able to show if it's worth it or not. In the meantime, yeah, my miles are probably gonna be a little bit higher, but we'll see how it goes. I just wanna give that a chance and see if there's a difference. You know, I'm still gonna multi-app and in a previous video, I've shared how I'm gonna to try to dedicate more time to maybe one app and see if I get better orders or if I make more or the same. But it's still slow. So January was definitely slow. February was slow. We're just getting into March now. And as I've shared before, what I do is I lower my standards. I don't just get rid of them because we still need to make money but I have been a lot less selective on the orders I take, and I'm glad. So I just wanted to share that with you. On Monday, I started off with an Instacart order, and it was $15, and wouldn't you know, it was to the dollar store. They weren't even open yet for another 15 minutes. So by the time I shopped that order, a total of 45 minutes went by, and it was horrible, believe me, just horrible. I'm not familiar with the store, and they were out of a few items. The customer wasn't responding. And as I've learned, you know, you're pretty quick. You uh, share information with the customer, but if they're not responding, you need to make a decision on your own. Because again, $15, 45 minutes, I just didn't really want the bad reviews. So I did my best, dropped it off. And then I moved to a different location, hoping to get some more orders. That's when I got the Amazon Flex order and I jumped on it right away and it was awesome. Now, I bet you can imagine after two hours, you're going to have to use the restroom, right? Well, I did too. So I stopped by a pavilion store and I was going to get a bite to eat as well. I got another Instacart order and it was a double batch, $39 for the two orders, 
maybe five, five miles total and 41 items. Most of them were vegetables, so that's pretty easy. So I shopped those orders really quick, dropped them off to each customer, and everything was looking great. So I knew with that Amazon Flex order and now this Instacart, I was set up for success. What happened next was interesting. So again, it's slow, so I wanna get some orders. I had all my apps on, didn't really get anything, but then I got an Uber Eats order, and this was $10 for about eight miles, which was good because it was getting me back where I wanted to go. And again, no other orders. The last order of the day, it ended up being on Grubhub, and it was $11 for 11 miles. That customer only tipped a dollar. That seems to be the trend for me because, again, I'm not on uh, Grubhub scheduled blocks. I just do it when I'm available. So total for that day, $168. This is really good. I'll tell you what, the days of $200 in earnings for me delivering during the daytime, I think aren't gonna happen until business starts picking up again. And with the looming recession, high inflation, all the terrible things going on, I don't know. But I'm gonna be available to work and I'm gonna work hard and help the customers as best I can. So $168 was great. I drove a total of 71 miles, and if you do the math, 168 divided by 71 works out to $2.36 per mile. And as you can imagine, you know, there were a few miles with an Amazon Flex order, but the previous orders kind of added on the miles as well. Still, $2.36 per mile is great because anything under a dollar per mile, you're kind of just running your car into the ground and you're actually not getting paid. So this was good. I worked a total of seven hours, so 168 divided by seven works out to $24 an hour, which is really good considering it's slow now. So I hope you found that day fascinating as I did because I was making pretty good money. And do consider doing the Amazon Flex orders. If you can get them, take them. Don't even worry about all the miles, the stops. It's really not that hard. Again, watch the previous videos where I've done ride-alongs on that. I don't know, is it slow in your market? It still is here, but hopefully in the spring it's going to pick up. So during this time, it just gave me moments to reflect on, is multi-apping the way to go? Or should I just rely on one app to make most of my money? So with that experiment on the Uber Eats and Grubhub, I'll give you the feedback on that later. My name is Russ. I do appreciate your attention. Please like the video, like the channel, and I'll see you in the comments below. Right now, it's time for me to get back online, doing multi-apping, making some money, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care, everybody.